Well, Peter, welcome to, to Weyburn. I know you're taking a moment here to fuel up and, yeah. and uh, gonna rest right away on your, on your world-breaking attempt <laughs> across the Americas. This has been incredible. This is great treatment, though. I've had a police escort thousands of miles since I ran across America two years ago, so. Tell us, where did you start and, and where's uh, the destination? I started in uh, Anchor Point on the Kenai Peninsula up in Alaska. Um, and uh, the final destination will be Key West, so I call it Key to Key. Actually hit the halfway point sometime yesterday, so today's day 51. It'll end up being about 8,500 kilometers total. Hope to do it in about 100 days, so I'm right on track right now to start the second half. But, they, but you're not new to this sort of thing. I ran across the U.S. two years ago. I broke a 36-year record for uh, running across the U.S. I ran from San Francisco to New York in uh, 42 days, 6 hours and 30 minutes. What are some of the... Uh craziest things you've seen so far in your trip? Uh, grizzly bears, uh, black bears, bison, moose, uh, forest fire uh, near Watson Lake, amazing glaciers, mountains, lakes, rivers, ocean. Uh, ran on two flat tires for about 100 miles. So I know we are pretty excited when we heard you were coming through earlier this morning. How can people follow along? You got a neat uh, tracker system. This little guy. Yeah, just ping me on the for 10 minutes. I can use it to text message as well. How did you get started in, in, in running here? What motivated you to even just begin running? Marathon running, I started doing in college. Got late, uh, just to get back to me. Yeah, I dropped about 30 pounds to do my first marathon. So it's just, it's kind of just been a hobby that I've just kind of taken a little bit further <laughs> every year over the last 10 years. Now, so. part of your uh, your run is, is promoting a healthy lifestyle as well. Yep, it's not just, you know, running as hard as you can. You know, I, I always tell people, you know, if you can't run, jog, if you can't jog, walk, or just mix in a little bit of both. So, you know, honestly, that's kind of what I'm doing. I mean, I'm not running seven minute miles all day, you know, I'm, I'm walking a little bit here and there. So, maybe running over 85K a day is not the healthiest thing, but, <laughs> but I love it. So, you know, I, I wouldn't have any other way either. So. But uh, the things that you must have experienced and seen so far in the races and the ultras and the runs that you, you've accomplished, we live in such a sedentary world, you're actually out there breathing it, feeling it, seeing it. Exactly, yeah. Uh, you know, I, that's what I love about this run. It's just getting out there, breathing the fresh air. It's, yeah, I, I love it. You know, I, a lot of people wonder, why would you want to run that much every day? But, you know, it, it's something I get to do. So I, every day is great. Every day is a little different. So it's been quite the journey, and it, I hope it will be the rest of the way. Well, you inspire a lot of us, and uh, boy, some of us really wish we, we could do what, uh, what you're capable of doing. And uh, who knows, maybe someday you. But, oh, absolutely, uh, yeah. Right on. Hey, we wish you the best of luck in the rest of your uh, your journey. And uh, have a safe one. Be safe and enjoy Wavern, all right? You bet. All right. All right.